What we're standing in right now is the water, and the year is 1680. And this is Hispaniola, which is Cuba right now. The idea of this game is you have an opportunity to be in the Caribbean in the year 1680. You may be a merchant captain, you may be a pirate captain, indeed you may be a governor of an island, or uh, you could be a naval captain. So the idea is for you to amass money, sell cargo, trade, and get out at the proper time. Some guys say magic's like crack. It is. Wow. They just make it so you have to buy more packs. Yeah, well, how do you feel about that as a game player? It's genius. It's marketing genius. See, me, I just don't, the company that makes magic, I don't want to give them my money. Why not? Because they're the man now, you know? So I'm not paying the man. You're not scrappy and mobile, and you're kind of like the man of collectible card yeah. games, right? <laughs> what would you say to that? I, hey, as a, as a company gets bigger, it has more resources, more power, more leverage, and stuff like that. And But it typically becomes more and more difficult to uh, have the fast mobility, flexibility of a smaller company. D&D 3 is going to kick ass. And you, as a DM, you like you were DM, DMing? I, was at, I actually uh, managed the design team for six months uh, personally, oh. and I've, I've read every word that Jonathan and Monty and uh, Skip have put down, and they've done a fantastic job, and uh, it, it, you'll love it. When we were looking at all the different possibilities of things that we could do, you know, Age of Empires was on the top of the list. And as a designer, were you excited to take this on? Oh, I was very excited. I mean, when we sent this to Microsoft the first time, they, get, they played all the way up through age, end of Age 2 and said, this simulates a game of Age of Empires incredibly well. Uh, one of the biggest things that the people that I've been talking to on the web that are Age of Empires players have said is, I can't wait to see the art. And one of the guys was so excited because he wanted to see one of the turtle ships from the new expansions that I, you know, I was like, well, you got, can't have that yet. Well, I was feeling really silly and saucy, and so I decided to make the Jester is dead, let's get him. <laughs> and this is a Celt card because the Celts are just this wacky group of people that, you know, they have the Barrel of Grog card. Uh, that's the Shots in the Back card, which this card in uh, what it does is that if an opponent is retreating from you, you basically get to shoot him in the back and to do an additional round of range combat to be able to take him down. Wow. Meanwhile, you have to look at this guy and his teeth. <laughs> and the cards are going to go to print probably early in August, and then from there they're going to get packaged and sent out to the stores.